Hey Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading for July 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This reading is going to be general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. Also keep in mind that the roles in this reading can be reversed because it is general. All right, Aquarius, let's see what is going on with you. In July 2022, in a love connection for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Let's see, Aquarius. All right, for the situation, we have the Magician crossed by Judgment. Wow, okay, really powerful energy starting off your reading here. Um, something is being manifested. Something is being manifested big time. I feel like there's either a major transition that is happening or like a major lesson, but something really, really big is coming in here for you. Let's see. For your energy, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the World. Wow, okay, the major energies are continuing here. Um, I feel like there's something that you may have been a little bit unsure about, um, maybe like a little bit back and forth, not really knowing how to manage something in terms of a particular connection or just in your love life in general. Whatever that is, there's, um, it's like you're finding a lot of balance and you're also, it's like you're you're ending some kind of a cycle here. There's something here that you are closing out and it feels like, you know, like th that's it. I'm done with this aspect and I'm moving on. It's kind of like lesson learned. I do feel like, you know, there, there was a major, major lesson here for you. And it's like, you know, you're completing it. You're pretty much done with that lesson. And I feel like you have been very patient through it and you've learned a lot of patience. Um, concerning this. Let's see what's going on with the other person. We have the Eight of Cups, the Tower, and the Fool. Wow. Wow, we are out of like, what is this, eight cards? Six of them are Major Arcana. So yes, really big things happening for you this month. Um, this person is walking away from something. I'm not really sure if it's walking away from the connection because that's not what I'm getting here. I feel like they're walking away from something that is creating a huge shift for them because it's coming in as like this major, major ending here with the tower, like things just really being um, tossed in the air and everything just coming crashing down, like everything just being destroyed. And then that's followed by the fool, a new beginning taking a leap of faith, um, starting out on a new journey. And this is in some way related to the connection with you. So they're walking away from something else, which is a huge major change for them. It's not something small. And then starting afresh. Let's see the potential outcome here. We have the Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, it really feels like you know, things are falling into place actually for the both of you. I'm not so sure if it's together just yet, but things are definitely moving in the way that they are supposed to for, for the both of you here. I'm seeing you being very, very assertive, feeling very confident, feeling empowered. Um, it's just really, really good energy. And it feels like you're also very like magnetic and very high high vibe here. So you're also like very, very attractive, um, especially to this person. Let's clarify. Let's see. Beautiful reading so far. Um, so let's see what we get now. Let's see that magician with the judgment card. Ooh, justice. Okay, so Libra energy showing up. The moon and the three of swords. Okay, so we do have Libra, we have Aries, and we have Pisces, as well as Sagittarius, all right, already out on the table. Um, just a, again, like we just have, we have two major arcana cards out of the three for the clarifiers. Again, really, really big energies here. Um, something is coming into balance again like something is really being manifested and this is coming from a place where there was a lot of pain so 
there was heartbreak, there's been pain, there's been sorrow, something that was just really, really painful. And I feel like there was either a lot of doubt or like a lot of fear attached to it, being in the dark, not really knowing where this is going, where things are headed. But I feel like there's a major decision here that is being made either by you or the other person. I kind of feel like it's the both of you, but in different areas. And it's like you're both on the same page where you're both making certain decisions and these decisions, even though they're very like independent from each other, it's like they are aligned also with each other. So they're moving you like in a parallel um, pathway here. Again, lots of lessons and these lessons actually being learned and I feel like karma is also resolving here. All right, let's see that Two of Pentacles for your energy. The Sun, okay, Leo, and another major Arcana card. And the Nine of Cups, beautiful, okay. So this was like the only like somewhat neutral, maybe a little negative card in your energy. And it's being clarified by two very, very positive cards. So yeah, something, it was feeling difficult for you to find, um, balance in terms of your happiness in terms of your emotional fulfillment like what it is that you want in order for you to feel fulfilled it's like you were having a hard time bringing that into your life into your reality again it's like it's happening though it's happening now you're finding that you're finding that you're finding a sense of peace a sense of contentment with whatever the situation is Let's see temperance. The eight of wands and the four of wands. Yeah, you're definitely moving towards this balance. It's, it's, it's like it's happening really quickly. I feel like you're just kind of like waking up one day and you're just like, wow, like I feel good. When did this happen? Like, remember when I was like feeling like crap? and everything just seemed so crazy and so difficult and so painful. It's like, wow, I'm so happy that's gone. That's the energy that I'm seeing you here, that you're in, um, coming up at least. So very, very beautiful, very stable, feeling like you just, you know, have everything together. I do also feel like, you know, there's action that you're taking either towards this person for some of you, although I don't get that that's going to be the case for most of you, I feel like for some of you it could be taking some kind of action towards this person, which it just leads you to feeling more at peace. Um, it leads you to feel more, something like is more stable because it's like it's coming from like a very honest place, whatever that movement is towards this person. Now for others of you, this is just you moving towards that finding that stability within your own self. Let's see the world. The Ten of Cups and Death. Okay, Scorpio. So some of you might also be dealing with a Scorpio. This is a huge, huge transition. See, and this is what I'm talking about, that it's like the two of you are in some kind of a parallel here because you're putting an end to something. All right, there's an ending here, but it's like that ending is also opening up the door um, for this happiness, for a happily ever after, involving love, involving a love connection. I'm not sure if it's this person or not, to be honest with you. For some of you, maybe it isn't, and for others of you, maybe it isn't, and that's why it might not be um, clear, because everybody's situation is different. But what I'm seeing for all of you, though, if this reading is resonating so far, is that you are moving towards this happiness, this finding love. But that only comes when you close out something else. And that something else might be another relationship. It might be um, something within your own self. Like it could just be um, a fear or a, a way of thinking, for example. Or, you know, maybe you were, you were staying isolated and now you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to start interacting with people and getting out more. It could be anything. Um, it could even be just detaching, even from this person, and then maybe that's what brings this back together. Whatever the case, you're closing something out. 
And that is because you are, have learned a major, major lesson that was also very painful. And then it's like it's similar for the other person. That's what I mean by the parallel. Um, there, something is ending for them as well and then opening up that door for something new. All right, so let's see. What is going on with this other person here? Let's see the Eight of Cups. The Five of Wands and the Page of Wands. Yeah, it definitely feels like whatever it is that they're walking away from, it's not you. It's um, some other kind of a situation um, involving other people where there's been a lot of conflict, possibly a lot of arguments, or just a lot of resistance, like a lot of um, clashing types of energies. <coughs> They're taking the first steps of walking away, okay, with this page of wands. Um, it's like this, it's just the beginning of them walking away from that. Let's see the tower. And yeah, I feel like the tower is following that, actually. Let's see, we have the Five of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, okay, wow. So that tower, it is going to create a little bit of a, um, something like a setback, but not really because you can't really avoid the tower. Like that tower is going to fall regardless, no matter what. But it is something that, you know, um, keeps them a little bit from moving more quickly towards that new beginning or towards that fool's energy, right? There's some kind of a loss. They're feeling the sadness of whatever it is that they need to walk away from. It's coming with a sense of loss. It's coming, um, yeah, it's like not feeling very good about it and that's only to be expected, right? It's the tower. A tower is never easy. So yeah, that's holding them a little bit back because they need to process that. They need to process that shift, that major transition. Because like I said, it's like something major is coming to an end, whatever it is that they're walking away from. And it could be anything. So, I mean, I'm not even going to give examples. It could literally be anything. So let's see the full. The Five of Cups and the Empress. Yeah, see, so they're, they're still going to be in this sadness for a little bit longer. Um, they need to go through it. They need to go through it. There, there is this sadness. There is this grieving of whatever that tower is, right, for each of them. Um, but, but, see, here they have the, you on their mind. It's like on the one hand, they're grieving this. And then on the other hand, it's like looking at this new um, perspective here with you there. So I feel like it's still a little bit energetic. Like, I don't know if they're just taking that action just yet, but they're definitely in that energy, definitely moving in that energy. It's just that they're still carrying a little bit of that grief with them from the tower because they still need to process that, all right? But I do see them taking that leap of faith, some kind of action here, a new beginning towards you. And I feel like it's gonna be up to you what you wanna do with that energy because I see you closing out something. And for some of you, it definitely could be this situation, this person, so you might not want, want this. Um, and for others of you, it definitely could be, you know, that you want to accept this. So up to you, Aquarius. Let's see that Queen of Wands for the potential outcome. And she's like out of the camera. Okay, there she is. So Queen of Wands, please. Ooh, Three of Cups. Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. Okay, wow, this is definitely talking about some communication. I feel like, you know, whoever this person is, um, there's going to be some kind of, I mean, it can't be more clear, <laughs> some kind of a reconnecting here, even if it's just um, verbal to start with. Um, and I feel like, you know, you're going to feel good about it. You're going to feel good about whatever, whatever you decide or whatever, you know, this conversation entails. Um, you're going to be happy with your own responses to it, with your own um, 
reactions to it on an emotional level, on a practical level, like just all around. Like you're going to feel really, really good about what it is that happens here with this person and what it is that you end up choosing to do or not choosing to do and what, for what this conversation, however way it goes. I feel like there's going to be a lot of truth in this conversation as well as a lot of um, emotions that are going to be expressed here. Um, so yeah, wow, Aquarius, this is like the most positive reading so far from all the zodiacs this time around. All right, Aquarius, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. We have regret. I feel like that is this person, um, this other person having regretted possibly whatever it is that they're walking away from. It's not just that. I feel like this is representing that Five of Pentacles and that Five of Cups energy for them. So this is just something to be mindful of. This person is not going to be feeling at their best. You might be feeling good about this reconnection, this conversation that happens, but know that this person is still feeling some kind of guilt for whatever it is that they are walking away from, whatever that tower is, okay? So just be mindful of that. All right, Aquarius, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.